He's the same way, John.
I had an experience this week that I sat and watched the news and a commercial came on. And it was supposed to be a minister of the gospel talking. And he's talking about how in the end of time and near the end of time that good will be considered evil and evil will be considered good. Which is true. That's the Bible. But then at the end, he said, if you've never been saved, and you want to be saved, all you have to do is say, God, I'm a sinner, I'm sorry. Forgive me. And you can be saved right now. Well, that's about as far from the Bible as you can get. Because the Bible says that you have to hear the gospel, and you have to be drawn. The Spirit has to draw you before you can be saved. You can't do it on your own. You can't do it on anybody else's time. It has to be through and by the Spirit. And when you tell me or when you tell anybody else that you can be saved anytime you want to, then you're going against the Bible. And that's a false prophet. And at the end of it, after he said all this, he said, if you prayed that prayer, call this number. And, you know, I don't have to call a telephone number to talk to the Lord. Wow. Yeah. When that spirit's drawing, mm -hmm. all you have to do is open your heart wow. and accept Christ as your personal Savior. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a telephone number. You don't have to call and talk to nobody wow. here on earth. Man upstairs, God Himself is the one you need to talk to if you want to be saved. He's the only one who can do it. That man sitting up there answering the telephone can't help you be as far as religion or as far as being saved. And when he sits there and he tells millions of people on the air that they can be saved right now, then he's a false prophet. And I don't know, I guess if, if I wanted to get rich, I could get uh, on the air and, and tell people what they wanted to hear, and that'd send me all kinds of money. But that's not what it's about. No, no. When God saved my soul, he said, go out and should be a light to the people to draw them unto me. Yeah. And that's done by the Spirit. It's not done by anything I do. It's not done by anything anybody else does. They have to hear the Spirit, they have to hear the Gospel preached, and the Spirit talks to their heart. That's the only way it can be saved. And that's not on my time. The only time I could be saved was when God was drawing me. But He gave me the opportunity. And if I had turned Him down, there was no guarantee I'd ever have another one. So if God's talking to your heart tonight, if you're lost, and He's talking to you tonight, humble your heart, accept Him as your personal Savior. Because if that spirit is withdrawn, there's no guarantee it will come back. Today is the day of salvation. Turn Him my way. The Bible says in Matthew there that we need to fear, but we need not to fear man because he can harm the body. Mm -hmm. But to fear him that can harm the body and the soul mm -hmm. by sending the soul to hell. And that's Jesus Christ. Uh, yes. So, what we need to do is put our faith in God, not in man. Mm -hmm. And we, not, we should not fear nothing on this earth. Because God said that He would protect us. So, if you don't know the Lord tonight, and that Spirit knocks on your heart's door, don't turn it away. Accept Christ as your Savior. It'll be a decision that you'll never regret. It'll be one that you'll have a protector with you at all times. You said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And I know that to be a fact. There have been times that if it had been 
with me, I would have probably kicked myself out the door and said, you're done. But God went like that way. Like a prodigal son, if you get out in the world and you're going to get away from God and you realize that you need to come back home, he's standing there with open arms, waiting on you to come home. And if he, his spirit is drawing you tonight, he's standing there with open arms waiting for you to come to him. And that's all it takes. Come on your heart and trust the Lord. And you'll never regret it. That's what I had on my mind tonight. And anybody got a testimony or a prayer request before we go to the Lord and pray?
Pray for this service. I think there's somebody here that needs to be saved. Somebody on our own desk, maybe they can be saved. This works all out to see.
they ease the restrictions on the COVID, but from what I understand, it's about as bad as it's ever been by now. People all over are having COVID, and now they're saying that you only have to point to my five days if you get it. Where before they said two weeks, and I don't know if they know what's good for it or not. To be honest with you, I, I just think that it depends on the world. He can heal it if he wants to. And I depend on him. And thank God I've not had the COVID show. <laughs> I've been through all of this and very few times without having a mask on. But the Lord's taking care of me. Anyone else have anything on your own? I'm curious. I've 
所以我也蛮会的，蛮会学的比较，还是蛮好的，就是另外就是比较，那个吧，比较，那我阿爸是专门在这样的，是比较，那比较我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我我Question in and I just kind of let myself be the question prior for it and be praying for it myself and trying to find the right question in the Lord's will. And I guess myself, I doubt my decisions back in the past. You know, and making sure that the Lord will be done in this thing. And it seemed to me, you know, all the most recently. Uh, He is put the office in the majority of what? He is the president. I can do that about it. It's all right. That's a lot of life. That's not a, that's not a, that's not a, that's not a, that's not a vow to, but, but so he can even hear you joy. And make it, make you have joy with him. And in your daily walk. Give you that, that spirit to get up to and, and then strive along with it. It's in such a blessing. And I started thinking for saving my soul because I think it's a situation that you can pull it a lot Never did nothing about it. File into the trap and go right along with it. I'm not going to give that. The Lord can give you peace and comfort no matter what you do. It's in His time, though. It might be that years of change. It might be whatever it is. You struggle along with it, but don't uh, don't fall into the trap of the devil and the snare that says it's okay. Everybody else is this way. That's a bad snare, mm -hmm. and that uh, that'll hinder your walk with the Lord. I need to stop. And you got it, man. For myself, love you. Good to see you up there. I hope everybody here had a blessed service. Thankful. Thankful for you. I hope you love it. I like to know what those that have each and open the door. If you can't even imagine. And the greatest one ever for salvation would be like something you want. And that's the opening of the door. Don't hold on to that old one. Mm -hmm. Humble yourself and accept it as you say. Yeah. I love to live. Thank you for doing it, Now, a fall preacher, a lot of that, two doors. Yes, sir. One go to heaven and one to your heart. And Jesus knocking on your heart's door, he is a kid door that's already open. All he has to do is open our heart to it. And let him come in. And too many times people want to complicate that. They want to Try to tell you that you've got to walk through, and jump through all these hoops and stuff, and you've got to do this or you've got to do that before God can save you. But all you've got to do is humble your heart. Yeah. When that spirit is not on your door, humble your heart and open the door. Let Christ be. Mm -hmm. He has promised to come in and sit with you and you with him. That's all it takes. If you want to be saved, when that spirit is not on your heart's door, Open up and let him come in. Someone else. If not, how many have long spoken to the place? That's all over his hand. All hearts and minds clear.
We can heal all. Get your call and make sure we're going to have a song set. Just a little talk with Jesus. Make sure that's good enough. So if you've got problems tonight, whatever they are, talk to Jesus. Talk to God about it. He can take care of it. And He will. He's promised that He will take care of the problems. <coughs> it may not be as happy as things like that. It may not be today or tomorrow. Somewhere down the road, he'll answer that prayer. Anyone else have a song?
He made it. And he would reheat the hills if we were trouble and ask him to. So we need just to remember where our help comes from. And when we need something, call on the Lord. He's the one that can help. And I want to thank this young lady for saying that tonight. You know, we're, I'm proud of her, you know. Yes. They step out and a lot of us wants to back up. They're willing to work yes. for the Lord. Yes. And they're not hesitant about it. Wow. And I, I've had a lot of people tell me, mm -hmm. I wish they'd come back. Yes. I wish they'd come and sing for us. Yeah. They love our young people. And Pastor Warren has asked me a number of times, when are your young people coming back? And there's other places that we've been. They ask us, when are they coming back? They love them. And there's nothing that would stop anybody from loving them. But they stand out for the Lord. They make me ashamed of myself sometimes. Because I hesitate. Let somebody else do it. But that's not what God said. Uh -huh. He said we need to be a mouthpiece. We need to be a light to the world. To show them where their help comes from. Show them. Who can save their soul from the devil's hell? And you talked about last Sunday in Sunday school about hell being real. Mm -hmm. Hell is as real as hell is. Yes. And the only way you can avoid it is to accept Jesus Christ as your soul. Mm -hmm. He said that he would come into our hearts if we don't accept it. When the Spirit is dealing with us, that is the time. Not when somebody's up there talking about how they can help you to get saved. <coughs> I can't help nobody. All I can do is pray for them. All I can do is tell them what the Bible says. The gospel. And the gospel will dig them up if it's preached in the Spirit. That's what it takes. Having the gospel delivered in the Spirit and in truth. And it, it takes hold of their soul. And it breaks their heart. That's when they can be saved. That and I'm only them can they be saved. And they have to make a step toward Christ. He's not going to force himself on anybody. He said, whosoever will. Meaning that I had a choice. You had a choice. Everybody on this earth has a choice. And they will make that choice one day. One day before they leave this earth, they will be given the opportunity. Because God promised in His Word that every man would have an opportunity. He didn't say you'll have half a dozen. He said you'll have an opportunity. And if you turn that opportunity down, there's no guarantee it's coming back. So if He visits you tonight, don't turn him away. Anybody else got a song? If not, let me go to the back.
And he knew what I was like. Yeah. And he saved me anyway. <laughs> and I'm glad that I did. That not a respecter of person. Yeah. I didn't have to live good enough for six months to be saved. Wow. I didn't have to go through a bunch of sacraments to be saved. I didn't make a, a jump one day and another level the next day and another level the next month or uh, nothing like that. Uh, the Lord came along one day, uh, my heart beat down my chest. I knew that I needed to be saved. I knew I was on my way uh, to the devil's hell. Uh, he reached out his hand and offered to take my hand. And, and buddy, I looked up one evening and, and I got a hold of his hand. And, and buddy, I've been a hold of it ever since. Ever since. And he knows me today. And I know him today. Preacher, does he look like what you see these pictures? I don't know him that way. I know him in the spirit today. I never a man spoke like that man spoke to me one day. Never a man. Amen. Never a man ever called like that. Wow. Hey, the old adversary, he's pretty smooth, too. Uh, he'll say, it's all right. you got plenty of time. Oh, you're way too young. Uh, you don't have to do it right now. Uh, you're not living that bad. Uh, you're all right. Uh, listen, uh, if it's contrary, as I said to the book, uh, it's wrong today. And I was living contrary to the book. But, buddy, I'm glad that the Lord, as our brother says, on no scales. Yeah. Or stepped on no scales. And he made it even one day for me. Yeah. And he'll make it even for you. I'm going to ask him this. Psalm, I don't know. I appreciate the service. I appreciate the song. It's my son. The words that's been spoken. The testimonies that's been given. And I was left this evening for somebody to reach out and grab a hold of him. The Lord's got to speak. That's all you got to do. Yeah. And here I am. I ain't got nothing at all. I don't want nothing at all. Nothing. But you got it all. You don't need what I need. Uh, you don't need what I got. Anymore. Bless you, y'all. The Bible says you have a cattle of a thousand years. And I'd like to go a little farther and say he owns the heels, brother. That's the devil. Yeah. Yeah. He owns it all. Amen. Because he wants to see and he wants me. Right. He wants me to, he wants me to accept him yeah. and the work that he did. Yeah. Give us some girl that we sing some tonight. Somebody may need to pray to see.
Appreciate the meeting and his gifts. Everybody that's here, our visitors that's here, visitors back there in the back. I ain't visitors. You come again, you'll be part of us too. We're thankful for everybody to come this way. Anybody got a testimony or something on your heart you want to share with us? So, Paul, I want to thank God for this year tonight. Um, I wasn't called out to church last Wednesday. I really couldn't call in my heart. I can't remember the words because I let the devil really get the power of it. And I was called out to the turn that night. Yeah. See what God can do. We're going to obey him. Yeah. So, it pays us to step out and do what God has us to do. And I got a drunk ball. Page Paul Day and Betty didn't have an issue with the heart. He was sleeping Saturday night because the heart was all with him. He said, I've oh, got the church with him tonight. Mm-hmm. 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 Sister Bernie, uh, Sister Rock, uh, Messenger on Messenger, talked about her husband that passed away this morning. I like the church will hear the Johnson family. He said, I can pray that y'all will send comfort to that family. And uh, Lottie Day's sister, uh, Lily, uh, daughter passed away. They had her funeral yesterday. We went to, you know, people die every day, but it's calling every day. Same thing is, is to be ready to know where you're going when you're in this whole world. I hate to see my loved ones go to the awful place. I want to take everybody I can to him, but with me that I can. And I love you all. It's a river of prayer. Pray that all you have to do is what God will have me to do. Just to humble me. Put me in the center, you know, and begin with them. My sister Bernice sang that song, Lord, have me stay in the center of my will. And that song is so very true tonight. And that's where we all need to be, you know, tonight in the center of His will. Not her will be done, God's will be done, no why. And I just felt that for the minute here tonight. I remember my husband, he knew not uh, to have any more out then, you know, stuff like that. I was telling y'all about, like, how many church went through. He's got to have it done on the 20th of this month, so I'm praying that everything you go through with that. And uh, my brother Kenny, they denied him on his uh, ankle of his heart, and he church went to recovery. So pray that God will intervene. I'm thinking myself that God is really dealing with my brother. They've been out of church for the way for so long. So long, it takes his time for him to come back home. No matter where it's at, they need to come back home. Yeah. If they come back home where they belong, they wouldn't have a heartache, the trouble, or habits, and the sickness. <laughs> when you get sick, sometimes it tends to something else. The sickness of a man, you need not to pray for. You can't. You can't pray for that person. If God got them there, what would it do for us to pray for that person and see this on the bed, you know? And I just hope that God has got a way of getting their people's attention. He always have and still is. And I talked to your brother Philip, and we had a good conversation. And I'm going to keep you talking to him as long as he's around me. I'm going to continue. He knows where he's at with the Lord, he knows where he needs to be. I appreciate that. And you got Brother Gibbons in with what I thought, Phil. Every time he sees me in Bernays, he says, Why y'all running for me? He knows why. But, yeah, but it's good. Well, I'm going to show us the other day. He said, Why listen to him sometime? I'm going to have You ought to come up here. All right. All right. That's what I told him. Certainly appreciate that. Stay on. Someone else. <laughs> Blessing, y'all. Blessing, y'all. Amen. Yeah. Say 
yes, he is. Someone else.
I'll tell you, I thank you for a priest, God's one. For I tell you, I love me, it's your one that I'm here tonight. I thank you for your God's one. Don't even want to see. I don't want to embarrass Brother Jamie, but he really seemed to be hurt through prayer. Went to the side. He's had a disease in the high of the diet, so he's two years old and didn't want to glasses. Crazy. I know God is telling you. He's telling you what to heal me. God is healing the healing victim for that. I guess I'm like my mom, when I get started, it's hard to know. My mom, she loved talking about the Lord, your brother, even though he came around there a lot. He was alive. I guess it just came down, you know, like a lot of people say, you know, Brother Ronnie Banks, it came down from, you know, generations and generations. Sometimes it works that way. But it comes through the power of God. But he does say he needs to pray for that. Good friend of ours, God's Lord. He's really blessed with you, man. There's nothing worth talking about other than all of you. That's right. Give them to it. That's right. I know we got a lot of stuff we have to talk about and work. This thing they talk about. Right, man. Yeah, that's the truth. All right, so now you see it. Yes, sir. About two or three months ago. The Lord told me, he said, you do my will. And I said, my will. And I knew it was a living God. Yeah. And when I said, I will, I felt something to change, didn't he? Yeah. But he changed it. And I felt a burden weight. And then I felt a peace that Yes. Amen. Your heavenly Father, Lord, wants to be honored honor to be in your presence. Lord, we really appreciate this meeting that you give us. For each and every one here, the words that's been spoken, the Lord, the songs that's been sung. Why should we work? Yeah. And we've got you on your side. Yeah. Lord, I, I'm thankful for this. And I'm thankful that you saved us so. Lord, we, we just pray that if someone that's on the in this house on the broadcast, it would not turn to your wife. Yeah. But I, I pray that you give them, give them a chance, give them a yeah. yeah. Lord, if you see fit to, for us to make it back here, son, yeah, Lord, we're praying for that service, for that one that may be yeah. lost in you. Well, go with us, lead us and guide us. Until we meet again, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.